The Metropolitan Police and the National Police Chiefs Council has said that four new categories are to be made to provide absolute clarity to officers the way that police investigate unexplained deaths. The change is said to have come about following failings into the investigation into Stephen Port, who is responsible for killing four men and committing multiple rapes. The four new categories are expected deaths, unexpected death investigated and not suspicious, unexpected death under investigation, and homicide. Expected deaths will cover deaths where there is a medical diagnosis. Unexpected deaths investigated and not suspicious will be for those where evidence shows no third party involvement. Unexpected death under investigation means further inquiries are needed and homicide will be used obviously where it is likely that someone else was involved. Now, not to put a dampener on this or anything, but surely these would have been categories already. I mean, it's like telling someone in order to swim, they need to move their arms. A coroner's report in January this year into the deaths of Port's victims, Anthony Walgate, 23, Gabrielle Cavari, 22, Daniel Whitworth, 21, and Jack Taylor, 25 identified a large number of very serious and very basic investigative failings, including a lack of professional curiosity. The inquest report added that detectives missed repeated opportunities to catch port and those failures probably contributed to the deaths of the victims. Underlining the need for proposed changes, Ms Munro, the report's author, said the term unexplained as used in the current policy may distract officers from the correct and necessary approach which is for the death to be treated as suspicious unless and until a police investigation has established that it is not. The coroner also expressed concern over a lack of ownership and responsibility for the investigations of unexplained deaths among leaders in the Metropolitan Police. Nothing new there then, all police forces lack ownership of their failings all of the time. The Metropolitan Police said it has now agreed and set out clear guidelines detailing the responsibilities that officers of different ranks have in death dis investigations, leaving them in no doubt as to their responsibilities and those of their colleagues. I still find it incredible that after nearly two centuries of the police being a thing, the amount of money they've had over that time, the experience they've gathered, the lessons, oh, the lessons they've learned, and yet still, at the very heart of it, they simply can't do their job properly. Instead, relying on low-level non-crimes to fill their time instead of wanting to get stuck in and find a perpetrator of a serious criminal offence, which is, after all, what they all say they joined for in the first place. Very big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, as no many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other film the police and other officials.